Oh my god, it's Arsenal! <laughs> Hello there, my name is Luke and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of the FA Cup to non-league clubs. But first of all, it is currently 20 past 7 and look what has just started on the TV. Yep, yeah, it's the FA Cup draw. I am excited. Let's see who Sutton and Lincoln draw in the FA Cup. Looking out, Lincoln, they are number 7 and... Who are, where are Sutton, oh they are number four, that's what we're looking out for. Oh, Burnley have come out, they are playing, they are playing against Lincoln at home. Lincoln have got Burnley away, that's a big game for Lincoln, although they might have been hoping for a little bit of a bigger one, maybe Man United or someone like that, but still a Premier League club away for Lincoln is a really magical moment. Let's see who Sutton get. Oh, Sutton, number four, they're out there at home. Who are they gonna get? <laughs> who are they gonna get? Oh my God, it's Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> wow they are happy with that what a draw my god good god what a draw that is for Sutton they're playing Arsenal at home <laughs> that is that is probably that is the biggest day in their history that is huge they're playing Arsenal at home in the fifth round of the FA Cup obviously there's a slim chance of them getting through, but but that is that is insane. Wow. Draw we can see Burnley versus Lincoln City. A good draw for Lincoln, but in comparison, Sutton versus Arsenal. Wow. So now on to the main part of the video and the importance of the FA Cup to non-league clubs. So the first point is the financial side to it. It's no secret that there is a big prize money in the FA Cup, especially if you get to the later rounds. I've got the list here, so even in the extra preliminary round, the first round, which they get £1,500, and then that sort of moves through towards like second second qualifying round, get £4,500, get into the first round proper, you get, uh, well, get winning the first round proper, you get 18,000, and yet teams at level seven and eight, like this is, this is huge money for those sort of teams. Then the level that Lincoln and Sutton are at now, so they are fourth round winners. They get 90,000 just just for winning that game. That, that's insane. And you know that doesn't include the TV money that they might get and the uh, the money that they'll get from like the uh, the gates increasing, getting loads of money from that as well. So there is a big financial benefit to these clubs that can really help them grow and improve. A big example of this is Stourbridge who consistently done well in the FA Cup in the last sort of eight, eight years or so. I think they've got to the second round like six times in the last eight years or something ridiculous like this. It's, it's just insane. And they've managed to use that money from the FA Cup to spend it on their squad and imp just improve in general. And that's really great that they can, they're able to do that off the back of an FA Cup run. Uh, the second point of the benefit of the FA Cup and how important it is to non-league clubs is the increased recognition of the club. So Sutton United and Lincoln City, you know, a couple of months ago, were there really fans of football league clubs and Premier League clubs talking about Lincoln City and Sutton United? No, there wasn't, definitely not. Are there now? Yes, there is, definitely. It's, it's increased the awareness of these clubs and it's going to increase their attendances long term because the local people, they're thinking, right, the club of my town is now on the map, so I'm going to go to the games. You know, the bandwagon effect essentially is a real positive for non-league clubs because, it, again, it increases the revenue through gate receipts long term. So that's a really important factor. The third factor is it's an incredible experience for the fans and the players as well. To get to put, see their team play and to play against really high level opposition, take Sutton United playing against Arsenal at home 
that's a once in a lifetime opportunity both for the players and for the fans these players that are used to playing in non-league they're now going to be playing against Arsenal a team that play in front of 60,000 fans every week and now going to be coming and playing on Sutton's 3G pitch paid for by their manager it's it's absolutely unbelievable and these sort of memories for the fans they will never forget them and that for me is the magic of the FA Cup the fans absolutely love it with, from my point of view Kidderminster Harriers we went to Sunderland I think it was three years ago we got to the fourth round of the FA Cup we went away to Sunderland and we took 4,000 fans up there it was an amazing day uh, it was only 1-0 to Sunderland in the end we nearly got something from the game nearly took it to a replay that was insane and the atmosphere that was oh it was absolutely unbelievable and that is the magic of the FA Cup for me if you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and tell me in the comments what is your favourite FA Cup experience. So as always, thanks for watching.